Hello, welcome along to my channel. For those who don't know me, I am Charlotte. I am mummy to four children, Finley age 11, Daisy age 8, Teddy age 4 and Florence who is 14 months old. Now I've recently written on our blog all about slow parenting because this is something that we are quite passionate about as a family and the blog post really was well received. I was a bit nervous about it. So this video today is all about how we found slow parenting, pretty much like how I have written our blog post. I just thought I'd put it on the YouTube channel because it was really well received on my blog and so I thought why not put it out there on YouTube as well because this is something that is quite a lot about me. Um, and how I believe being a mummy is is to me, and so I've put it, I just decided to do this video. Um, so I might just ramble a little bit. Now I have not re read any books or any written material about slow parenting, although I was given a good recommendation on my blog of a slow parenting book, of which I will at some point pick up and read when I get a chance to actually do some reading. Now I'm going to rewind back to how we used to parent and with the two big ones when they were little before we moved to Germany. We used to live down south 40 minutes outside of London and so there was lots of shops and loads to do, loads of lovely towns to go to and things to do. I was a busy child mind worked full time Monday to Friday doing preschool drop-offs, school drop-offs, working, child minding till late at night and then the weekends were spent catching up with family, shopping, cinema, doing lots of different activities, bowling, wherever we wanted to go, you name it, we just filled our diary pretty much most weekends. And Dougie used to say to me quite often, do you not think the children are getting tired from this? They're only little. And I just loved being busy and that's how we were. And then in summer of 2012, we moved to Germany and we moved to the middle of nowhere. And so we just had to adjust to a different life. And so we adjusted to a life where there was a lovely community and so were, there was only a couple of very small towns, big villages to visit with lots of lovely parks, outdoor pools and man-made beaches nearby. And so we had to adjust to a life where on a Sunday there's not much, there's no shops open or anything. And so Sunday was a family day, which I think was actually really good for us. And on a Saturday we would do things like go to, to the parks, the man-made beaches, the swimming pools. And in the winter we had a lot of snow. And so we would just be more in the house because it was minus 10, 13 degrees and loads of snow. For one year we didn't see any grass for about four months. And so we would go out and play in the snow but you couldn't stay out there too long because it was so cold. And then we'd come back in and have family time. We had loads of picnics while this living there and we just led a completely different lifestyle to what we were le leading in the southeast of England where we were, it was very much more commercial driven and lots of retail. I loved my shopping so I was always shopping and picking up bits and pieces. Had no f family to visit and we had a few friends that we were friends with but we'd see them mainly during the week because we all lived together and at the weekends most people had family time. So it was quite old-fashioned in a way and that's how we came across leading a different lifestyle. And so we came fast forward again to two, from 2012 12 to 2014. We arrived back to the UK and we moved to Lancashire and we again lived we live in a rural place we're still living in Lancashire now it's very rural and it's a nice area to be in and but of course we're back in the UK where there's there was more, there's more shopping opportunities more activities you know soft play centers um trampoline parks cinemas where the kids can understand the films going on and lots of activities uh, available to us. And we have st carried on our lifestyle from Germany here pretty much. I have gone off going shopping since being in, in, in Germany and going without them because A, I've got four children now, not two anymore. And so shopping is a nightmare. So I, most of our shopping's done online. And so I get bits and pieces online, which I can do for my own home. And we don't really go clothes shopping at all with the kids. And having four, we can't afford to do all those activities like cinemas and stuff like that. Instead, we do the cheap kids AM cinema trips in the holidays. And we don't do loads of activities because we're just trying to be a little bit more simple with our parenting and keep it to the things that matter. Like going out for walks in the wood and having picnics together, going to the beach together, doing family things at home and just slowing it down. And to do that in the UK, we've had to kind of change our life a little bit. And for us, it is 
a few simple things we've changed and that is I say no to a lot of things so we, if we have a busy if people want to if we want to go away and, and do something for a weekend or see people we'll go away for a weekend and then for the next few weekends we don't do anything we stay at home we keep it simple we catch up on jobs around the house um, our life the kids slow down they do all their homework and bits and pieces that they need to do and we enjoy that weekend that we've chosen to go away wherever or that week we've chosen of the holidays and then the rest of the time we stay at home and we clear our diary down a lot so we have a busy patch and then quieter patches quite a lot so we look at our diary and our calendar and work our way around it we tend not to do two busy weekends together because it just exhausts us and the kids so that is one t t thing that we've definitely changed we don't fill our diary a lot. Um, the, another thing is I reflect quite a lot. So I reflect on what's worked and what hasn't worked. And when I write this down, it helps me remember. So for example, at Christmas time last year, I thought about a lot about how our Christmas worked well and how it didn't work well and things I'd like to do and things I wouldn't like to do again. And I wrote them all down. And so this year I've got it out. I've read what, what worked for us, what didn't work for us. And I can improve on that. So reflecting on everything that you do, the way you go out, maybe if you plan your day out, uh, reflecting on um, how best to do your picnic, um, to add extra time on your journey just to allow for things so we like to say we're going somewhere we'll add on an extra hour because this allows for a four of six a family of six getting in the car something going wrong a nappy being changed somebody forgetting something and just getting caught up in the moment and enjoying your trip and coming back a lot later than planned and then so we allow extra time on everything we do as well as our reflecting and so for us, slow parenting coming back here, what we've had to change is, like I said, the time factor, saying no and clearing the diary down and reflecting on what we're doing right and wrong. And so this has helped us slow our lives down for the kids. And this is really good because the children do a lot so much at school, the older ones, they've got homework, they've got after school clubs. And so trying to minimise minimize what they're doing a little bit and just pick the right things that are for us and so rather than doing five different after school clubs they do a couple of good things that they enjoy and that means the little two aren't being dragged about everywhere and I'm not being exhausted driving about everywhere as well so we do really just think about what we're doing a lot more and reflect on it and then change what we've done I feel like I have kind of just um, and just thrown that out there all in one big thing because it's really hard to sort of explain um, but I just wanted to sort of do an introduction from following on from my blog post about slow parenting and what it means to us and slowing our lives down and how it's helped us because we're all let's face it live in a busy lifestyle a busy world and we're always thinking about what to do next we've got so much going on in the house housework and and jobs to do and you might not have your partner about very much for us it's you know we only have him at weekends and so we really don't want to be stretching ourselves too much the weekend as well because we need time with him and so we all lead these busy kind of lives um where we have to fit in shopping and playing and being with your children and, and let them have after school clubs and stuff and so to try and look at it and look at your diary look at what's going right what's going wrong and slow it right down and just enjoy what you're doing as a family and have more family quality time we do this by having meals with them occasionally we don't always eat with them but we do have set family time meals and we also have our own time at the weekend where we have our own meal together to slow ourselves down enjoying a family film together guys being a slow parent you're being kinder and slower to yourself you're not exhausting yourself it's great i've really found it beneficial beneficial for my own state of mind to just be a slower parent you have a really busy lifestyle and you're really busy parents and you're feeling frazzled and exhausted and you're looking at your children at half term and you're thinking oh they look really tired and they're going back to school and they've got next term and they're going to be really busy or you're looking at your little ones thinking I do feel like I drag them about a little bit then it's great because you stop a lot more I stop and look at things when the children say look mummy look at this or wait mummy can I show you this I have more time because I'm allowing myself more time to stop and look at a daisy that they're wanting to pick on the floor on the way to school or they're pointing out there's a squirrel in the tree or I can stop and say look kids have you seen the squirrel on the way to school? Because you're allowing yourself not to be bogged down by so much life stuff that if you cut out quite a lot of crap that you don't need, you have more time to appreciate the simple things like being outside, watching them climb a tree, watching them 
paddle in the river, all those things that come for free rather than going getting sucked up in the commercial world that we live in. I love stuff, I love shops, I love retail and every, all of that, but as a family of six, some of it's not practical for us. And so the simple things are practical. So slow parenting, simple parenting, is the way forward for us and we love it and so if you're interested in, in hearing about this in not quite such a thrown out there waffly way that I've just done on this video then please do head over to my blog it's a little bit more well presented than I've just done on camera I'm no expert so if you follow experts on slow parenting they probably know a lot more than I do this is just slow parenting and how we found it and why we enjoy it so I hope you have enjoyed listening to me waffle on and maybe maybe it's for you maybe it's not but thank you very much for watching and if you liked it please give us a, a thumbs up and if you didn't like it please don't give me a thumbs down just just give me nothing um and thank you please subscribe to our channel if you want to hear, hear more about this and other topics that i do on our channel i do do lots of topics on our channel and i also do shopping hauls on there from my quick shops and i do lots of tags and lots of children's activity videos so please come along and join our channel to see all of that and thank you very much for watching bye bye